Lord. For every power, Lord God, that's why the Lord of men has been defeated. The Lord has been conquered and has been placed under our feet in the name of Jesus.
area. We cancel out the spirit of confusion right now that tries to seep into the household, that tries to seep into the mind right now of the people, Lord, of your people right now, Father God. No, 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 no.
stand on your feet and help us sing this song if you know it.
worship at your feet. Your feet, your feet. And Father, we decree that even in these times of a multiplicity of choices and options, we posture our heart as it was with Mary and Martha. When Martha was in the kitchen, busy with other things, but Mary postured herself at your feet and you said of Mary that she had chosen My God. the more needful thing. My God. So Father, we are at your feet because it is the more needful thing that we choose to be at your feet to worship you the true and living God. Huh? Hallelujah. So we bring all of our worship. We shout to you, Lord. So we And we lay down at your feet, at your feet. Hallelujah. I just really feel that in my spirit. So we bring all our worship and we shine. To you, Lord, and we bring it's an all of our worship, and we lay down at your feet, at your feet. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. At the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you to everyone that's viewing us live by Facebook live stream and uh, by way of YouTube. Um, strength and honor to each and every one of you. May the Lord richly bless you. In these days and time, I was looking at a scripture and I just want to just Rehearse this is in 2nd Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 it Says nevertheless the foundation of God stands sure Having this seal the Lord knoweth them That are his and I want to just encourage you today that even while we're in the midst of it To maintain for us as believers to encourage you to maintain the foundation let your faith stay intact while we're in the days of great change and great uh, transition, let the foundation, your faith. The Bible says in in uh, First Peter, uh, rather that it is a uh, Second Peter, rather, that your faith is the victory. And I want you to know, the Bible says, when you build upon the rock, that no matter what wind blow, no matter what adverse uh, elements uh, 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 of the winds or rains or storms that might come. If you have built upon the rock, your foundation will stand sure. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. It is in these times when the wind is blowing, there are so many changes and challenges and, tra and transition that's happening, the temptation to shift and move. It is in these times that validate and confirm when you and I are unmovable, unshakable. It is in these times that confirm what we have built or what we have invested in. Yes. And I want to say to you today that if you find that you've been shifting and changing and moving, if the temptation has been for you to, to move or to become dis, uh, 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 upheavaled or unraveled, yes. go back to the foundation. Make sure that your foundation is founded upon the rock. Yeah. The Bible declares that that rock is Christ Jesus. When you build upon him, when you stand upon him, 
you and I will be unshakable. I was so blessed yesterday. Uh, we had a conversation with our spiritual father, Apostle Mark Kaufman, and he was sharing some things with us that really blessed us. And he was talking about how the time that we're in, that he really sensed in his spirit that there is a reset. Yes. And the thing about the word reset, reset means to set again or differently. And another definition of the word reset um, means to set back to zero. Right. Right. So, so when he said that, it just really began to resonate in my spirit because even though we're in times and we're the social distancing and we're where we are and we're in our homes and those kinds of things, it is a divine sovereign time of the Lord to reset. But the amazing thing is, we are, by sovereign design and the hand of God, being reset back to zero means the original plan or original purpose. And many of us are finding that in these times, because of the change and the things that we're having to embrace, that we are being reset even back to some values and things that we had gotten away from previously yeah. that were good things and great things to do. And so I want to say to you, do not look at it as a time of, of defeat. Don't look at it as all this chaos that the enemy is trying to, uh, trying to present it to be. But look at it and receive it as a time of the Lord uh, to be reset. The Bible says in, in Exodus, when God spoke to Moses, um, the Bible says he instructed Moses to tell the children of Israel, to take a lamb, to slay a lamb, and put the blood over the post, the doorpost of the house. What's interesting is that when God gives Moses this instruction, we know that they were in the midst of a time of plagues. And that God instructed the children of Israel to go inside the house and cover their house with the blood. Because he was preparing them for a time of Passover. Yes. And I want to say to you as believers, listen. Do not allow yourselves in this time of being, um, uh, and the instruction of being in the house. I want you to see God in the midst of it. And I want you to seek to use that as a time to begin now to even partake of the Lamb of God. Begin to get in the Word of God. Continue to apply the blood of Jesus over your house, over your family. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I want you to be, begin to prepare now, prepare now for a Passover. Yes. Come on. In other house. words, we're in the season of transition. Yes. Assisted. Yes. That what looks like a problem or chaos and confusion in the midst of it, God is preparing God is his in people it. to step over he into something in different. Hallelujah. We are the Hallelujah. 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 God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you it. while you're in your homes. Amen. Just look at somebody that's around you and tell a neighbor, God is positioning us for a Passover. For a Passover. And we get ready to transition. Oh, to God. God. There is a move. There's a move that's happening. God is transitioning his people and bringing us out to a new place. Yeah. Amen. And in him. So I'm grateful to the Lord. I'm excited about all that God is doing. Amen. I want to honor, amen, uh, Pastor Natalie. Amen. The Lord be to God. say this that the Bible says that we are to obey the laws of the land. Amen. And while some people feel like well I don't have to do that but the Bible God's instruction tells us to obey the laws of the land that we obey the laws of the land because we as a believer we're uh, the ordained and established authority in the earth and so we have to be in proper order and alliance with God yes. in order for all righteousness to be fulfilled and so amen. I'm grateful to the Lord amen, amen. Uh, for, for those that are here this opportunity to come to you uh, by this way of media and um, just grateful for what God is doing I'm really excited in my spirit 
Amen. I wanted to give a, a shout out, amen, to KDMI, the city of the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to just take a, a personal moment uh, to just share with KDMI, the city of the Lord, um, how honored Pastor Nat and I are to be uh, the leaders that God has assigned to you and for you all to be the ones that God has assigned to us. Amen. It is a sovereign decision and, and uh, plan of the Lord that has brought us together and I want to encourage you today, Katie and I, uh, the best is, is not just yet to come, not only yet to come, but we're walking in uh, that greater, those things that the Lord has been speaking to us, we're walking in it now. So yeah. I want to just encourage you yeah. that while you're in the house, don't just don't just you know allow yourselves to be given to boredom. Don't 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 listen. Don't sow don't sow the preciousness of what God's given you and be yes. bored. Yes. Yes. Or giving yourself to frivolity. Prepare. 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 This moment has been sovereignly allowed by God to reset us and reposition us for the things that we have been declaring and believing God for. And so don't give yourselves the small things in this season. Stay before the Lord. Stay in the word of the Lord. When you stay in the word of the Lord, that's partaking of the Lamb. And as you begin to do those things, when the instruction comes to shift and to move, You'll be ready to move. Hallelujah. 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 Marvelous things are here. Marvelous things. You know, we are, the Lord has given us that wisdom that March will be a significant month. Amen. That in March, there will be great things that will happen that will literally cause a supernatural shift and transition. We are in that moment right now. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, I want to say to you, as a set gift that's been assigned to your life, don't miss the, the moment of visitation. Don't miss this moment of visitation. Look past the outward thing and see in the spirit yes. mm -hmm. the provision and the opportunity of God for this moment because what's in this moment is going to carry us over to the next side. Yes, it will. Be wise with your resources in this moment. The Bible says of the children of Israel that when God caused a deliverance he delivered them out of the system of Egypt their deliverance spoiled the financial economy of Egypt yes. but the resources that God gave them to spoil Egypt was not for them it was to worship the Lord Amen. I want to say to you now be wise with the resources that come into your hands Know that it's not just a time for you to just waste upon yourself, but ask God for the wisdom of what to do with the resources so that you would know that when the time comes that we can build God um, a house. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We're not going to do like the children of Israel did when Moses went up on the mountain and they misappropriated the resources and built a calf. No, we're not going to do that. No, we're not. We're going to hold our resources while we wait for the instruction of the Lord. And we're going to do what God tells us to do. Amen. So God bless you to everyone. Amen. We love you. Amen.